Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 29 and in this tutorial I am going to speak to you guys about something called an associative array. Now an associative array is basically an array that instead of using an index number between the square brackets, so remember we always use these square brackets at the end of our array name, uh, instead of using an index number like 0 or 1 or 2, we can actually use a name inside of here instead. So let's say, for example, that I had an array called debts. And this was, okay, so let's just say it's an array. Um, but this was basically a list of money that people owed me, or amounts of money, rather. Okay, so then I could go ahead and I could set this first value to 150 and the second one we can put as 21.95. Uh, the third one we'll just put as 99 cents. Okay, now I can very clearly see that someone owes me 150. In fact, I can see that uh, the person in debts zero owes me a hundred and fifty dollars but who the heck is the person in 150 okay or the person in debt zero I have no clue okay so it's obviously better for me to use an associative array to associate a name with this value okay and the way I can do that is obviously because my name's going to be a string it has to be in quotation marks and I can give uh, the value or the name Ryan to this value and the way I associate this name to this uh, value is I just go ahead and I add in this equal sign and the smaller than sign okay so this means that my first element in my array is now element Ryan or index Ryan again I can continue uh, with this pattern so Kyle can be person number two and he owes me 2195 and the last one I can set equal to Sean and he can owe me 99 cents okay now if I ever wanted to work with one of these values again I can't go ahead and use index numbers anymore so if I try and echo out uh, debts zero okay so uh, just make sure you save that and then come back here and click refresh you can see I've got an undefined offset zero so that means that this index of zero that I'm looking to print out here no longer exists and that's because we're not using index numbers anymore we are using these associative uh, names. So if I wanted to find out how much m money Ryan owed me then I'd go ahead and print out uh, Ryan uh, or debts Ryan and this would give me the 150 that Ryan owes to me so 150. Again uh, I could go ahead and print out debts Kyle and that would give me the amount of money that Kyle owes me um, but just make sure that you're using the same cases over here. So in other words, uh, Ryan has an uppercase R, Kyle has an upper, uppercase R. Uh, these are case sensitive, so you're going to have to use uppercase K for Kyle again. Did I say Kyle has an uppercase R? I think I meant to say Kyle has uppercase K, not R, but yeah. Okay, so uh, that's basically how you use an associative array. And... That's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video, but uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.